Hello fellow CNC nuts and welcome. In this episode I'm going to be making a base for an armchair to raise it up a bit. Now I can get away with just nailing a couple of bits of wood to the bottom of the chair but I'm going to go a bit overboard here make it fully adjustable to allow you to change what height you want it and put some tilt on it if you need. Now it's only a temporary solution needed for the next couple of three months but Knowing the way temporary solutions end up going, it'll probably still be there in 10 years' time. Fortunately, there's uh, no rush on it, so uh, no pressure there. Any time today will do. Here's the bottom of the armchair. It used to be a rocking armchair, but it's had a wooden skirt put around the base to prevent it from rocking. That's going to make attaching my base a lot easier. For this project I start by cutting a sheet of 25mm thick plywood. I attach it to the table and then machine a hexagonal pocket into the plywood to take the head of a bolt. I test to make sure the bolt fits properly before proceeding to the next cut. I complete the rest of the pockets and then some 10 mm through holes. I then drill a series of holes around the outside edge which will be used to attach the base to the chair. I then change to a 90 degree V-bit and chamfer around the outside edge of my base, around my feet and countersink my screw holes. Finally I did a profile cut around the base and the feet and uh, yes I did make an extra foot on purpose. Okay, a uh, slight problem. Remember that old saying, measure twice and then just do whatever you want anyway? Well, it uh, causes problems. So I designed this foot here with a hexagonal uh, pocket in it so that it could take the head of the bolt like so. I then put a washer on it and uh, some screws around the outside edge and that would give me a nice solid foot. And I can just screw it in and adjust the height that I want. The problem is that it's too high. So to fix that, I uh, drilled a hole right through the center here so that I can pass the bolt in from the back instead. That then allows me to put a washer on and two nuts. This one here will lock against the top and this one locks the bottom. Again, nice and rigid. The problem with that is not enough thread here. So now I've got to go and cut some threads on my bolt. To do this I put the die in the vise and then use my socket set to turn the bolt and cut my new thread. This video is sponsored by Masso CNC controller. Masso can run mills, lathes, routers, plasma machines and more. Simply connect your stepper or servo motor drives, a monitor, keyboard, mouse and pen drive with your G-code. No PC required giving outstanding reliability while eliminating driver and motion card compatibility issues. Masso, the PCless controller. Powerful, stable, guaranteed. I start by assembling the foot with the bolt through from the back like so washer and nut. I just simply tighten up this nut here to hold that firmly in place and that's not going to go anywhere. Now I've got a big uh, metal washer here I'm just going to leave it sitting in place because all the force will be down onto it. This is basically just to spread the load over the piece of plywood here. Now when I originally made these here I put four 10 millimeter holes, one in each corner, and then I ran a tap down them. To thread these holes I'm using a 12 millimeter metal tap. Now if you're concerned about the threads breaking out there is no weight on these threads, they're only used to hold the feet in place when you lift the chair up off the ground. I put one more nut on here, big washer, and just simply screw this in place. I 
Once these are adjusted, the top nut can be adjusted to make sure it's nice and firmly held and uh, all will be good. Around here I've got screw holes that I put in there and I'm going to use that to screw that to the bottom of the chair. It really is a very simple design and should work well. Well, I've got to say, I'm really pleased with how that came together. It was quick and simple to fix to the bottom of the chair. It was easy to adjust. I left it in the slightly downhill facing, go fast position. When you're sitting in it, you couldn't tell and it was rock solid. Hopefully, if you find yourself in the same situation of having to raise a chair up, then it may give you some ideas on how to do it. All that remains for me to do is to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later. Cheers.